hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are highly welcome my name is blessing and in this channel i share a pattern drafting and a sewing tutorials if it sounds like what you want to learn that you are interested in please kindly hit on the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video in this channel you will be notified so guys in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a simple gown like this a sleeveless gown is how it says so guys it's a very detailed tutorial and a beginner friendly you will enjoy this video i promise and if you find this video helpful at the end of this video please don't forget to give the thumbs up and let me know what you have for me on the comment section so guys if you want this video you are interested in learning let's keep on watching please end over to watch to the end keep on watching and let's go so guys here are my pattern paper and the things i will be using for this tutorial so now i will first of all mark a straight line so i will mark my lines like this and this will serve as my shoulder line so from there i will just go ahead to mark all my vertical measurements from my shoulder to my hip length, to my waist, to my bust, to my chest, okay? This is me marking all this measurement here, my vertical measurement. So I'm really there now. So now I'll just go ahead to label this pattern. This label this is my shoulder line, like I said, my chest line. For the chest line, my normal chest line is... Uh, so guys, my normal chest line is... 7 inches. I decided to add 1 inches to it, making it 8 because it's a sleeveless gown. Okay, it, it does not have a sleeve, that is why I add 1 inches to my actual uh, chest line. Okay, so now I've finished labeling them. Now, the next thing I will go is to divide my shoulder measurement divided by 2. Then I will place because this pattern I'm using it for the both the back and the front because. We don't have a zip on this gun here. Okay, so this pattern I'm going to use it for the back and the front. So this is me trying to rule up my shoulder line divided by two. This is my shoulder divided by two, which is so my shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven. So now I will just go ahead to mark a basic neckline. This basic neckline, I will alter it later, but I just wanted to mark it now first. Because I'm not using this particular neckline. I'm just using it for a guide, but I will still alter it later. So after marking my my basic neckline, I went ahead to come down by 1 inches for my shoulder slope. Then I will go ahead to just connect my shoulder slope to my neck width like so. So now the next thing I will be doing is to mark my bust measurement divided by 4. Then I will add 1 inch for seam allowance, half inches for seam allowance, half inches to, to sew my darts together. So now, now what I will do here is to divide what I have on my chest line. I will, I will, I will look for the midpoint here. For the front, I will come in by 1 inches for the front from the midpoint. We, we are making a sleeveless uh, this is for the front, a sleeveless gown, and this is for the front. Then now, after coming in by one inches, I will connect from the shoulder slope to meet the one inches like this. Then after connecting, then from the from the half for the midpoint, I will connect to meet my actual bust measurement. Okay, so that is that. So you can see that it's deeper. So for the back. Uh, like I said, I'm using this pattern for both the back and the front. So for the back now, from this midpoint here, I will also come in by two inches because I want the back. I want the back. Uh, uh, the the I want it to be deeper at the back. Okay. So I just come in by two inches from the back, from the midpoint there. Then after coming in uh, two, but if you want yours to be that deeper, you can also come in by 2.5 is how deeper is your own preference okay like for me i just want it that two inches okay but if you want that the back to be more deeper you can go ahead to mark 2.5 inches so now i'm here connecting my my 
arm hole curve like this blending it so that it will fit well like so you can see that it's pointed at that area so i went ahead to blend it well so you can see the front the front is uh, it's not is as it's not as deep as the back you can see the two difference there so now this is me trying to correct everything there to blend everything there okay so now like i said this for the front and the other one for the back okay so now the next thing we'll be doing is to go over to the waist measurement here i will divide my waist measurement into four then i will mark what i have Please ignore this B BP that I put here because I forgot to put my waist. It's, a, it's actually a waist line that is here, it's not a bust point, okay? So now I've divided my waist measurement by 4 and added my 1 inches for seam allowance. The same thing goes to my hip line. Then on my hip line, I divide my hip measurement, divide by 4. Then I add 1 inches for seam allowance. Half inches for my body seam allowance. The remaining half will be... The, that uh, joining okay so now on this um, hip line here i will mark what i have then i will deduct two inches from the actual measurement i got from the hip line okay i i mark the hip measurement plus the allowance then i, la I later deduct two inches to mark the hem part okay now the next thing is to just connect all those lines together so guys, now you can see that there are pointed, uh, pointed edges at the hip part. So I will just go ahead to blend it so that we will not have a sharp edge there where we are joining our gants together. So for the bust, for the waist area, it's still the same thing. So I will just go ahead to blend it as well. So this is me trying to blend this part. You can see that it's kind of curved now. So now the next thing we'll be doing is to take in our um our neckline okay like i said before that this neckline i'm not using it so since it's a sleeveless so the shoulder will not be as wider than like this so now what i will do is that i will come in by two inches from the neck width because altogether for this uh, shoulder is four inches then for the wideness of the width of the neck i extended it by two inches okay I extended it by two inches from the width so left remaining two inches from the shoulder so i will use that shoulder that remaining two inches for my shoulder because it's a sleeveless okay so now for the back i'll come down by 1.5 inches for my width okay uh, for my depth okay so now i will connect that 1.5 inches to co correspond with the extra two inches that i come out with okay hope you understand what i'm trying to say here so that we will have a very small shoulder there so guys that is that that is for the back while for the front i will come down by seven inches okay i'll come down by seven inches for the front depth neckline okay so after that i will go ahead to connect it from that part there to meet the neck width because the back and the front width is supposed to be corresponding together so that we won't have any issue while joining the two shoulders together okay so now i've connected it like i said this three inches here that is the back and the front this three inches here is no longer needed i will just go ahead to strike it off like this hope you understand what i'm trying to say here because this three inches by three inches is just like a guide before but now i've already added a place in my actual neckline and the neck width here so that is it so now now the the remaining two inches that will be my sh my shoulder okay so that is that hope you understand what i did here if you don't still understand you can still ask a question okay so now after that we we'll move over to the next thing so the next step is to take my dart my nipple to nipple measurement now my nipple to nipple measurement is seven when i divide that by two i will have 3.5 then i will just go ahead to mark that 3.5 from the from the waist down to the hem part okay so i will mark my nipple to nipple like so 
down to the hem part like I said earlier. So guys, after that, I'll just go ahead to use a straight ruler to rule it up like so, the way you see me. Now from the chest line, I'll come down by 2 inches from the chest line. I'll come down by 2 inches like this. So now from the waistline here, from the waistline, this, I'm correcting this part here. From the waistline here, I will just come in by half an inch on both sides, okay? Half an inch of both sides to create my darts, okay? Because I want to extend this part to the, I want to extend this line to the, the neck area. But if you don't want to extend yours to your neck area, you can actually end yours at the bust area you can just no need for you to cut it you just place it like that just hold your dart as your normal dart okay so now from the hip line i come up by two inches to create my dart okay so now this means connecting my dart from the chest line or below the chest line down to the hip line before the hip line okay hope you understand what i'm trying to say here because you need a dart here so that it can fit very well okay so now i'm connecting it so you can see that i've already connected my dart so now i will replace my dart intake so that i will not have a short a short short a uh, fabric okay so this means replacing my dart i will just connect it from the bust point i will connect it to here i mark my dart replacement like this okay so from there i will connect it to meet my hip hope you are understanding what i'm saying because when we are drafting we didn't add my i only add the sewing allowance the sewing to join this board because i'm going to split this two to be a into two i will split it i will cut it as in we understand where we are going as we go we, you will understand more better so this is the replacement of the dart i took okay the replacement so you need to sew it so that is the other half inches i gave okay so now basically we are done now first of all i will first of all cut out the front part because the front armhole is not to, is not that deeper than the back that is why i will first of all cut out the front before i will cut out the back okay hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say here so you will understand as we go okay so now i've cut out the front then i will use the i will use the pattern to cut out the main fabric okay now i place my pattern on the fabric that i'm with i'm working with then i'll go ahead to use the pattern to cut out the front first before cutting out the back because the front armhole is not deeper it's not deep to the back as i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say here So guys, I've done with the cutting. Then the next thing is to remove the front now from this pattern so that I can use the pattern to cut out the back, okay? So now this is me placing my pattern to another fabric to cut out the back, okay? So now for the back now I will just trim out my back. I will trim out my back armhole. Because this is the back now. I will just go ahead to trim out the back armhole. That is the reason why I first of all cut out the front pattern first. Because the back pattern, the back armhole is deeper than the front armhole. So that is why I first of all cut out the front. So now I'm cutting out the back now. I'm trimming out the back armhole because it's deeper. 
So the next thing is to join the both the front and the back together to because we have already cut out the back neckline. So the next thing is to place it together. Now I've I will just remove the pattern, then add the front and the back together now. Then then I will trim out my front neckline. Okay. I will add the front to the back here. So now I will place the pattern on top of this tool like this. Okay, I will place it in a way that it corresponds to the two fabrics. Okay, remember we have cut out the back neckline. Now the, the, the next step is to raise only the front because the front will be at the top of the fabric or top like the, the back will be at the down part. The front will be at the top. This is me pinning the fat the the pattern to the fabric so that when I'm cutting, I will not have shifting. So now I will just raise the front up like this, just the front, so that I can able to cut the the neckline. So before then, I pin it down. I pin both the front and the pattern paper so that I will have a good cut here. So now I raise only the front up. Then I trim out the front neckline. Okay. So guys, I've cut out the front now. You can see that the front is deeper. So the next is to extend this uh, nipple to nipple measurement line to the to extend it to the back. Okay, extend it just extend it to the neckline of the back. Okay. So guys, after extending now, what I will do is to just cut it. Okay, I will just cut it both the front and the back using the pattern paper. As a guide okay this is me trying to crochet everything so that I will pin it down so that after pinning I can able to cut it accurate okay so now this is me cutting now I'll cut along the dart line like this then I extend it to the back neckline like so cut it off then now come back to the before that I pin these two together with a pin then so that after painting to stay well, I trim out the other that's there. Okay, so this is how it is. We'll go ahead to remove the pattern paper. So now this is it after cutting. So I'll just go ahead to line it up. This is how it looks like after cutting. So now the next thing is to join these two together. Right side meeting right side like this. Then you take it to your sewing machine and align it very well like so. Then after aligning it and you place it, take it to your sewing machine and you run a stitch by half an inch. Remember we remember we add one inches. Then I use half inches for the sewing. Okay. So I use half inches to join these pieces together. Remaining half inch, the remaining half inch is to join them. So now this is me trying to open it, open the same up and iron uh, iron it add water to it and i make sure i iron it so flat okay i will iron it like so this is me using my hot iron to open up the seam so that we have a neat work here okay so now i've ironed it this is how it comes out so the next thing is to fold. the next is to fold the seam by 0.25 in like this then after folding i'll to stitch on it so this is how it comes out after i to stitch by when i fold in by 0.25 so i to stitch on it like this and it came out very beautiful and neat okay so you can see that so i'll just go ahead to turn it to the right side and see you can see that it's very beautiful at this other side. I want her head to iron it as well so that it will come out very neat. Okay. So the next thing is to 
cut out our facing on the both the front and the back you just cut out your facing that way extend to your shoulder this is my facing here i've cut it out so the first thing is to hem the bottom part just fold by half an inch and hem the bottom part if you have a wavy machine go ahead to wave then you place it right side miss it right side and take it to your sewing machine now you run a stitch by half an inch for the neckline like this and for the armhole area you, you just neatly sew it and iron it so guys this is how it comes out i've sewed it and i've went ahead to iron it you can see that it's very neat you can see the armhole area is very neat as well so this is the the back you see the back this is the front and the other one here is the back you see that it's very neat you can see it's just like a design that's why i made it like this the dark area it's just like a design that's why i decided to do it this way you can see that it comes out very well and it comes out very neat so that is it you can see the inside i've already hemmed the bottom part there so you can see the armhole area is, is neatly sewed and ironed this is how it comes out so the next thing is to join both the back and the front shoulder lines together i'll just allow the front at the damp i'll just place the front like this and bring out the back right side missing right side then i will join my shoulder by half an inch okay i will take it to my sewing machine and join my shoulder by half an inch so guys here it comes i've joined my shoulder the two shoulder by half an inch so the next thing is to join the side remember we left we added one inches and we use half inches to join the darts the remaining half inches i will use it to close this both sides together okay i'll just go ahead to use the half inches so guys the yet it comes to i've joined it by half an inch okay you can see how it is very beautiful go ahead to so iron it and that is it i folded i joined it by half an inch so the next thing is to hem the bottom part and the bottom part i will use a hemming comb to do that so just fold it and before then i will trim of the excess that i have on the down part so that the two parts here will they will align well they will correspond to each other so go ahead feel free go ahead to trim out the rough edges that will make your work look very rough just take your time and trim it off okay so now you can see that you see that they are well corresponded together so now it's just to take it to my own table and first of all fold half an inch in then after folding half an inch i will iron it then use one inches to fold it in again okay because i gave 1.5 inches for for the length for my for my length allowance okay or for my hemming allowance so first of all fold half inch in then use one inches to fold again then you place your emmy gum inside and iron it very well so that the emmy gum will glue both the hem area and the the gun together so now here it comes you can see that it's wetly ironed and it's neatly ironed and it comes out very nice i didn't sew on it so that the hem parts will be very neat okay so you can see that i did it so on it and the emmy gorgeous helped me to glue the boat together so that it will comes out and this is how it comes out so guys our gun is ready this is how it comes out you can see how beautiful it is we'll just go ahead to put it on and see the final look so guys this is how it comes out this is the final look so guys if you enjoyed this video just a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any interesting video from this channel thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys i love you all thanks very much and see how i rock it very beautiful and very neat okay thanks for watching i appreciate your time
Bye. See you in my next video.